We begin with a developing story we've been following for you, a search and rescue operation for 10 Cuban migrants who are missing off Key West. The Cubans' dangerous journey for freedom turning deadly when their raft capsized. And the Coast Guard has been searching all day and night. That search covering an area the size of Hawaii. Let's go right to local tennis, Roy Ramos, live in Key West with the latest on this. Roy. Louis and Nicole and the U.S. Coast Guard tells us they have conducted a total of 10 searches, totaling more than 40 hours, and they have no intention of stopping anytime soon because they still believe there may be survivors. Our lookout on board that cutter spotted what appeared to be people uh, waving their arms and, um, and, and struggling to stay afloat. Several people stranded in the water after the U.S. Coast Guard says their raft sank in the Florida Straits Wednesday. While eight people were rescued and two bodies were recovered Thursday, crews searched from above and overnight with night vision goggles. Friday, the search continued. We are still searching for what we believe to be 10 adult males. It isn't easy. You don't know if your son is drowned or is alive. You just don't know, said Neovis Morales as she spoke with me from Miami, her family in Puerto de Mariel, Cuba. Her friend worried for her son Michael Martinez, who she said was one of 20 people who set sail from the town Sunday night, traveling north with hopes of reaching Florida. But the journey would hit a devastating end when their raft would capsize 16 miles southwest of Key West. His mother is in Cuba frantic because while she knows there are some people that have been rescued, she doesn't know if her son was one of them, said Morales. Her cousin, 34-year-old Adrian Corcho, also among the group of Cuban refugees. The concern now, are their loved ones still alive? As long as we believe that there is a chance that they could still be alive, we continue to search. So obviously several families going through a very difficult time right now. When we spoke with the U.S. Coast Guard, we asked if any of the eight people who were rescued were relatives of the family members that we got a chance to speak with. They tell us they are asking those families to be patient at this time because 100% of their efforts are focused on this search. For now, here in Key West, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. All right, Roy, thank you.